Hey guys, this is Nerd Girl, and today I'm actually doing a draw my life for you guys in honor of a few things. <laughs> so I was born on the 12th of January in the year 2000, which makes me 16 years old, and I was born in one of Sweden's largest hospitals in the city of uh, Umeå, well, in Sweden. <laughs> When I was born, both my mom and I was quite unwell and I was born by emergency C-section. There was a very low chance of me surviving, but as a miracle I did. And when we went home from the hospital, I was a happy and healthy baby. And I've been quite happy and healthy ever since. <laughs> in daycare, I was unlike many other children. When other children was in the swings or in the sandbox or playing soccer or football or whatever you call that. I was in the middle of it, pretending to be some sort of news reporter using a stick as a microphone and just having a good time talking. I talked about politics as my mom was working with it, I talked about football and what was for lunch. Um, and also during this time when I was 34 years old, I discovered the magical world of a computer. I used to sit in my dad's lap while he was playing computer games and I was so amazed by all the images I saw on the screen. And that's my dad. He's one of the funniest guys I know. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but after daycare comes grade school, which was not exactly a happy place for me. It's not the fact I had all. I didn't have difficulties learning. I've always been a studying and learning person. But and in first grade, everything was happy and fun. But in second grade, things changed. In first grade, everyone was friends with everyone and you just played around. But in second grade, something changed and I was bullied and left out because apparently I looked different. I've, I've always been a little chunkier than everyone else and I got no saying I was gross and looked like I was a hippo or something. So during break time, when other kids was playing, I used to sit at a rock and by myself and just wait for break time to be over and wait for class to be over, wait for the day to be over basically. Um, it turned, it kept going like this from second to fifth grade and it made me really sad and at times I wanted to stop existing or just move to another planet. But in sixth grade things actually changed. Every single group was split up into smaller groups and I ended up in a class with only 11 students which was amazing. We had, a, You got time with the teacher that you needed, you could learn again, and there was never really a huge mess in the classroom. Everything was happy again. But in seventh grade, you had to switch school again. And this was terrifying. When I walked into the classroom on the first day, I remember uh, seeing everyone sit on their seats and just... I was sitting alone in the very front, listening to music. And... This is also where it comes in. I've always been a girl and a person who seeks music in a way of comforting to close out the world around me. So during basically all grade school, I've always had my headphones on my head. And not only does it close out the world that I don't like, but it closes out all people. Meaning I'm not the social person I originally and supposedly am. In 2012, I discovered the magical world of YouTube. And it made me super happy. I found videos of my two interests at the time, which was Minecraft and baking. <laughs> and it made me happy, and I found happy people and happiness. In late 2014, late December 2014, I discovered two little dudes that made a daily show on YouTube. I think you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Red Link, of course. Um, and I was immediately addicted to Good Mythical Morning and I watched it every day. I joined the Renlin community um, on Boxing Day of 2014 and I found so many people that shared common interests and that shared their fan creations and it amazed me to a point where I just enjoyed everything. Now I'm actually addicted to GMM and I'm always looking forward to the new episodes that I can watch after school when I come home from school and it's a pretty awesome time. In February of 2015, I uploaded my own Wheel of Mythicality intro, and it was the first time I ever uploaded a video of myself on YouTube, and the Wheel intro was actually aired on the show in June the same year. I'll put a link in the description box for you. It was also during this time that I discovered the world of speed painting, 
I've seen it sometimes before, but now I really looked into it. I was amazed about him, things looked sped up. And in June of 2015, I uploaded my first, the Link Neil one, in honor of his birthday, June 1st. I didn't expect any feedback at all, but I actually got a few likes and some comments and stuff that really cheered me up to make more videos, and that's actually basically the start of my YouTube channel. In the late summer of the same year, 2015, I uploaded my sixth speed paint, the It's My Belly Button one, which is the most viewed video on my channel with almost 1,000 views. And this is awesome. <laughs> Today I have 22 subscribers, over 20 followers on Wattpad, and over 20 followers on Twitter, things I never expect to happen, making them even more amazing. I love reading your comments, your feedback, and the general appreciation I get from you guys. You inspire me. Thank you. Every single one of you. Stay mythical, beast friends. Bye!